Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing something a little bit different than normal and I'll be talking about what I did for two weeks last summer. So if I take you back all the way to November, December 2017, everyone, or well not everyone, everyone who wanted to apply for the trip had to apply. They did this by sending in a letter of why they should go on the trip. That had to include information about the trust that we were working with, why they should go, how they were going to fundraise £2,500, which is a hard task, let me tell you that, and what they think they'd enjoy most about the trip, basically. So then in the January, maybe, or maybe late December, we then had group interviews with teachers, teachers that would be on the trip with us, and we sort of discussed why we wanted to go, what we thought would be interesting, if we thought we'd make the most out of the trip, or if it'd sort of just be, oh, we'll keep going sort of thing. So we had the interviews, the letters, and then there was the selection. So everyone got an email. There were 44 students that went, I think, and then four or five teachers. But I think over 70 people applied, so it was hard to get in, not everyone did get in. But I was lucky enough to get in and it was one of the, ex the best experiences that I've ever had. So before we went, we got hoodies. This is my hoodie. And we got t-shirts, school t-shirts that had like South Africa on them. We also got bags that had our school logo, our number. I can't even remember what number it was. I think I was 41 or 39, I, one of those. And then, um, what else did we get? Bags. Yeah, we had the bags with the logos as well. So that was everything we got for the trip. The bag was massive because obviously this was like our hand luggage bag and we had to fly from, I think it was Heathrow to Johannesburg and then to Cape Town. Is that right? I think so. So it was the initial journey. Obviously we also had to drive from school to Heathrow. So it did take I, 20 hours, I don't even know. It was like a 12 hour flight and that was a long time. Luckily it was the one coming back was overnight so that wasn't so bad but the one going there I didn't even sleep so it was a really long journey basically. So while we were in South Africa we didn't just go for you know willy-nilly we went to work with the trust. Now this t-shirt is from the trust it's the Hook Adapt Trust I think that's how you say it. I'm going to leave a link below to the trust so you can see what they do. While we were there, we stayed on the farm for seven days. And in those seven days, we went to pop centres, which used to be path out of poverty, but they've changed it now into path onto prosperity. So obviously that's positive. Um, and that was where children who had been to school, because obviously they wanted children to go to school to then be rewarded for going to school not just anyone to be rewarded so they went to school and then they went to these pop centers afterwards and they'd have fun with their friends they'd play games they'd dance and i can tell you that the south african children can't dance they have rhythm it, <laughs> they're so good at dancing that's one thing that i really miss and we got to play with them play games we learned loads of dances with them it was really great and we also worked on the farm so one of the days we planted I don't know 100 olive trees something like that I mean while I was there I got the nickname Spady um, because initially they were like oh do the boys want to dig and then I was like no 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 the girls can dig too N don't get me wrong me and Emma were rubbish but we got it done and I got the nickname Spadey, which then turned into Spidey by one of the little boys who was in the pop centre who couldn't say my name. So that was one nickname I got on the trip. So basically the trust works to help the children who live on these farms, who aren't really, it, it's in very rural areas. So you can't really travel anywhere properly. They help these kids get warm meals, and when they come onto the farm, some of the kids come onto the farm and they had meals with us. So that was really nice. Every evening we'd have the 
sometimes we'd have a meal with just our school with the teachers us and the school and then sometimes the kids would come down and we'd have meals with them as well so that was lovely so the trust gives the kids a warm meal usually safety it's a safe area within the neighborhoods enjoyment and fun spending time with their friends it was all about bringing positivity into their lives and making sure that they're making the most of the opportunities they're getting if that makes sense it also did things along the lines of giving families packets of seeds that they could plant so then they could grow their own vegetables so then they can be self-sufficient in the future if that makes any sense so that then they're not relying on other things so they can feed their families so then hopefully it's not as, a as much of a struggle as it would be without them so i actually kept everything that i got while i was out there so i kept a note so this is a 20 rand note because obviously it's different currency over there i also kept some change we got these um there was a rand conversion on the back and these little cards that have um telephone numbers on them so we knew who to contact if we were in trouble and um, which was obviously needed and then i don't know where it is but one of the most amazing things that we did that was sort of spur of the moment was we had a bit of free time before we had to go to the airport so we went to like the the local mall that had loads and loads of different shops in it but we had four and a half hours to kill something like that and then i thought oh there's a cinema there so we went to see the lion king the new lion king like the live action lion king in south africa like how insane is that so that's one thing that was incredible we got to see the the lion king in south africa how many people can say that but that was insane i also have all of my um what are they call flight tickets if you know what i mean what are they called flight tickets is that right boarding passes i have all of my boarding passes from british airways um Kulula. that was when we went from johannesburg to cape town and then british airways again one of the best but also the saddest moments of the trip was our last day at the pop centers so we went to the pop centers maybe four or five times i think so we made really good connections with the kids and these kids were a oh, range of ages. There was a little boy who was, I think his name was Kevin and he was like, I don't know, two. And then they'd go up to kids who were 14, 15. So myself and Emma, we were at one pop centre and then our other friends, Rose, Helen, Lurie, Siobhan, were at the other pop centre. So me and Emma made some really good friends with these girls called Keisha and Carmen. And I also met, I think his name's Regat as well. And that was with Will. And they made us little notes that said things like, oh, we're gonna miss you and things like that. So I have them. So this is a little bear from Regat. And oh my God, it's so cute. So when we received all of these, it was so sad. So like, for example, this one, this says, I love you BFF from Carmen to Jess forever. And it's like a little envelope, so you have to open it. And then it's got little drawings in. Oh, it's so, like, it's so amazing that we were able to do this. And I will keep these forever because it was such an amazing experience. But it was so sad leaving them because like we brought something different to their usual lives and I think we did make them very happy so well I hope we did anyway so also when we went out there the reason that most of them made this stuff was when we went out there to the pop centers we took them yo-yos pencils pens rubbers paper playing cards cuddly bears I I took a polar bear, like a little cuddly polar bear, and I gave it to Carmen on the last day, and she literally wouldn't put it down. So that was like, it was so touching that the things we gave them meant so much to them. I think everyone 
who went on the trip will agree that it was one of the best experiences of our lives. And I do not usually print any photos, but I've printed like 50 plus photos from this. So I'm going to show you some of the photos now that I've printed off and I hope you like them. So I'm just going to show you a few of the photos. I know I said fi I had 50, but I'm obviously not going to show you 50 photos because that's going to take forever. But these are some of the photos that, of, that sort of show what we did. So this one here is on one of our first, very first days. And we were sat around the table with, so these are the pop kids here. And then these are people from the school. And we were helping them with homework. We were doing, not projects, but we were coming up with things like if there was a park, what they'd do to put in a park, put in swings, a slide and things like that. So we worked on like group things. We also one day we made cakes, we made cookies, like we did activities with them so that we sort of created that bond. So then later in the week, it was easier to just like find your friends and then go and play netball or do some dancing or play games, etc. So this photo is one, I think it might actually be my favourite photo of the whole trip. We, as I told you, me and Emma made some really good friends and this photo shows our four friends and us. And if you look really closely, Carmen's holding the polar bear and it is my favourite photo. Like, it's amazing. It's amazing to look back and think we've done that we've actually gone and helped people and like made a difference, if that makes sense. I also could not believe, I forgot to say this, but we also went on two safaris. So I don't know if you guys have seen The Apprentice, like the year just gone, but they went to Aquila Game Reserve and they did, they had to sell um, safari tickets and then they went on a safari with them. And we went there in August so it was really surreal to see it on the telly. But this is a photo of me and my friends um, with the lovely sunset and sunrise. So we went for a late night drive and an early morning drive. It was cold, but it was amazing. We saw, I don't think we got to see all of the big five, but I think we saw four of them. So that was incredible. So the safari was amazing. We also went on bike rides at the um at the farm which was cool so that's a photo of us on our bike ride i mean i hadn't ridden a bike in like five years so i almost fell flat on my face but it was so fun and something that i think we take for granted at home but there we had no wi-fi so you basically couldn't use your phones no signal obviously it was going to cost like an extortionate amount of money to actually pay for data so we just got to enjoy the little things in life, which was really lovely. And I could not show you this photo. As I said earlier, I got the nickname Spady. So I had to print off a photo of me digging a hole for an olive tree. I mean, we weren't great as you can see, but we did it, we got it done and we made a difference. The final photo I'm going to show you is of one of the blocks slash walls as you go into the trust and it has a saying on it that i think every single person who went there will live for forever they will always remember this and it is happiness is contagious be a carrier and it's on a big wall and we all sat around it and took a photo so that we'd remember that and i think it's so true especially at the moment we just need to be happy, be happy with each other, check that everyone's fine, check that everyone's okay, be kind to one another, be happy, just, you know if someone's laughing, you will end up laughing too, it is contagious. So it's very true and it's a very good saying. So I thought I had shown you the last photo, I had not shown you the last photo, because there was one person that was on the farm that really connected with everyone and everyone who was on the trip will agree and that was our friend Max now he worked on the farm and he was like a volunteer guy um and he went to the pop centers and went to see the kids and stuff and he's from around there and he was the same age as us 
and he was full of enthusiasm and positivity and happiness and his happiness was contagious and I have a photo of Emma and I and Max and I know that he has watched some of these videos so I hope he watches this and I will send it to him but shout out for, to Max for making everyone's trip 10 times better for just being there and being amazing we all miss you dearly and we hope you are doing well out in South Africa. So that's it for today's video. I will leave a link to the trust down below so you can donate if you want to. They do amazing work. I've seen, I've been there, I've seen the kids, I've seen what they do. Schools go over all the time and um, volunteer and help. They're also doing a, um, like a scheme where you can go for a gap year to help. So if you're interested in that, just check out the link below. I think you can send over toys, etc. I think you can donate some money. Anything will be an amazing help. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, like it down below, comment any future videos you'd like to see. And if you'd like to go to South Africa, I know I haven't spoken much about the things we went to see. We went to the marina. Um, we did a lot of shopping. We went to see Nelson Mandela's house. I know this is a really quick pit stop tour of what we did and it's right at the end of the video. Um, safari. We did loads of different stuff. We went to the beach, everything. Everything you could dream of, we went to do it and it was insane. I would relive the whole experience all over again, 20 million times. It was that amazing. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I can go back in the future and help out again. So comment down below, make sure to subscribe if you want to see another video. If you actually want to see more about this trip and hear more about the trip and me go into more detail, let me know in the comments so I can do another further video discussing it and telling you what we saw, where we went. We also went ice skating. Um, just let me know and I'll see you in two weeks with another video. Bye!